to the family. Bruce Willis says he is suffering from dementia. Here to talk more about what it is exactly, Wanda Smith with the Advisory Council for Aging and Independence Services. Wanda, good morning. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me here. I think through the years we've all heard of Alzheimer's. We've heard of dementia. Mm -hmm. It falls into so many different categories. And then now FTD, frontotemporal dementia. Specifically, what is that? Well, the dementias are a basket of different disorders, and frontal temporal dementia can be genetic or sporadic, and it falls within the category of um, some are younger, it's 40 years old to 80 years old, wow. is kind of the window. Um, so what you have, you have different behaviors that are going on, and families notice it. Most family yeah. members, will be diagnosed with like Alzheimer's because mm -hmm. that's kind of the catch-all that we, we're all accustomed to. Sure. But frontal temporal is quite different. And you say that it affects behaviors. We were reading earlier that um, it, it also affects personality, language. Mm. Can you talk a little bit more about these symptoms? Well, they call it aphasia, which I think the family, the yeah. Bruce Willis family, um, um, were diagnosed with early on. And now, fast forward a year, it took them with resources and connections, and I'm sure the family were seeking as much knowledge as they could. It took them even that long. So you can imagine what most of our families are dealing with. It takes three years, and generally a survey, they surveyed FTD families, three neurologist visits oh, to wow. three different neurologists to finally get an FTD diagnosis. And you know, I would just like to say how much I appreciate the Willis family. Yeah. Um, because coming out with this is not an easy thing to do. Mm. Yeah, and, and usually when a celebrity or high-profile person like a Bruce Willis has some, a disease or something, they, they can have the wherewithal to make that announcement and if they so choose to go public with it, bring awareness. This case is different because it's the family that has to make the choice for him, exactly. um, which makes it extra complicated. I wanted to get your take on this because the family did announce um, oh, it's aphasia a year ago. Now it's this FTD, um, and there was, I heard, like, relief that they got this diagnosis. Why is there a relief with this versus, oh, it's aphasia. It seems like it's just, it's all not great news, but what kind of relief comes with an official diagnosis of this? Knowledge, because you know what you're dealing with. Um, for my family, we were finally diagnosed with FTD progranulin. And at UCSD, there's a phase three trial mm. where the protein progranulin actually has a drug that will change the protein from being a faulty protein to a healthy protein. And the body uh, increases progranulin. So for Goodness. family members that can get their genetics, yeah. mm -hmm. if they have um, more than one in the family, it, it puts you on the path to these genetic solutions that are, are emerging. And there's quite a few of them actually out mm. there. And, and you say if these families can get their genetics, for the families that perhaps can't, are there any warning signs that they can, can keep an eye out for? Uh, the behaviors, uh, the precursor is generally depression, ap um, you know, apathy. Um, um, it, the family will notice that their loved one in the workplace is starting to have problems, you know, getting along with people. Um, the inappropriateness going out to dinner maybe, so these behaviors can become um, mild and then they just escalate, even though it may well be a diagnosis of you know, bipolar or yeah. psychiatric or Alzheimer's, um, the family knows there's something more. Right, and it's the family who knows mm -hmm. the person best who can tell. Um, it, it's just so difficult to pinpoint what it is mm -hmm. to, to get that proper treatment. I wanted to ask about outlook. Uh, because, I mean, my, I've told the story, my, my grandmother had Alzheimer's and was diagnosed at 78, 79. She died at 91 or 92 around there, so mm -hmm. it lasted, and we mm -hmm. witnessed that decline. And be it Alzheimer's, dementia, whatever, it is a, a brutal diagnosis to watch somebody decline like that, especially somebody like this. Mm. Um, what can the family expect uh, for the next several years of this? Uh, the family can expect um, spending a lot of money on resources. Uh, if you have FTD, it costs more money. There's a lot wow. of discrimination that actually occurs from care facilities because the behaviors get so complicated. Um, but the family can expect to have a lot of cost incurred, a lot of emotional pain, and a lot of unknowns. 
That's mm. why it's so important for the family. And usually families have to become their own advocate in yes. the healthcare system. Yes, indeed. Mm. And ask the questions and yep. really, the more knowledge you can gain about your grandparents or your, um, yep. your situation. And you know, we're very fortunate in San Diego because we have the Alzheimer's San Diego which has a team of social mm -hmm. workers that really help our local families. And the AFTD.org has a wonderful uh, website that talks about all these proteins. And, you know, mm. we're lucky in San Diego. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm glad you mentioned those resources because it kind of struck me when you said they're going to spend a lot of money. Mm -hmm. They're fortunate. Bruce's family is fortunate that they have a lot of money. Most people who get this diagnosis do not. Mm -hmm. No. And we have genes that are in Hispanic families that those families have a very difficult time getting their genetics. So, yeah. you know, we, we all, it's, a, it's an element and it's a piece to look for and uh, to try to find. But our resources locally with Alzheimer's San Diego yeah. really help. Mm. Okay, Wanda, uh, thank you. Uh, it's uh, sad to see somebody that was so full of life uh, have to go through this kind of diagnosis, but, uh, but you know, boy, a lot of people are mm -hmm. dealing with the same thing. We We're appreciate grateful. you taking the time for thank all the work. Thank you so much. And I for all the work your... the organization does as well. Thank you. Thank we you, appreciate Wanda. It. Thanks.